Do you have your own custom logo like this? Do you wish you could turn that logo into your own custom OBS Stinger transition? I would love to actually just end the video there and drop it down a link, but I have some things to explain. I am bringing you a new free DaVinci Resolve fusion effect, one that takes your logo or whatever image you drop in the timeline and instantly transforms it into an OBS stinger transition that you can export, convert, and then use in your streams. This effect is fully drag and drop. It can be used on any logo and on any 720 or 1080 timeline and has some pretty cool customization options. So let me walk you through how to use this effect, how to customize it. And then we're also gonna go through how to export to use this on your streams. As I said, you can use this on any logo. I have here a logo from Iron Smithy. He is a great Sea of Thieves streamer I know. You should totally check him out. A link to his channel will be in the description. And also to demonstrate, I have just this generic Twitter logo that I dropped in. And you should notice that this Twitter logo is pretty low res. If I go in the metadata, this is only 128 pixels high and why. This Iron Smithy logo is much larger, but you'll see by default the timeline settings scale all images to fit the entire screen. And that's one reason this effect is so flexible. A download link for my effect will be in the description. So you need to download that and install it in the right folder. But once you do that, here on the edit page in effects library effects, we will have fusion effects. And if we scroll down, you will see SSC OBS Stinger. And if we just scrub this, you will start to see what this effect does. But we can drag that right onto our timeline, onto our logo. And if we play back, you'll start to see in a little bit of choppy playback, what our main transition is. This background slides across the screen. It gives you that nice full screen image that you'll need for a Stinger transition. But also the logo scales up, turns around and pushes back. Like I said, this playback is a little choppy. And the one thing we can do for that is to right click on our image, go to render cache fusion effect filter, and there you will see that effect we applied. But if we click that, you'll get this red bar above your image that should pretty quickly turn blue, and that will be this effect caching. And then when that is done, you should be able to play back super smooth and see your transition. And that is pretty wild that in a second, just dragging an effect onto an image, we have a transition that we could export and use on stream. But there's a lot more power here. First, you have the base customize options. If you click on your image with the effect on it, in the inspector, you can now go to effects and you will see that stinger effect. The first control you have is for just the logo size. By default, it will scale your image to full screen, but if you want it a little smaller, you can always pull this down so that over the course of that effect, it will come in, but it won't be quite as large. Or if you want it to be overly exaggerated, you can really scale this up so it fills the entire screen when it comes in, really overwhelms and then pushes back. I think I like this one a little smaller, but then you can also customize the color of the image in the background that's sliding across. If I want this to be this lighter purple, you could do that instantly. Maybe something to go for like a little, little gold color. Oh, I actually kind of like that. It's actually pretty cool. But there's one more really important feature. And to demonstrate that, I'm gonna come over just to this Twitter logo. And I'm actually going to pull the duration of this down to about two seconds. And if we drag the stinger effect onto this new Twitter logo and cache that, you'll see that this effect is dynamic to the length of the image it is applied to. If you were to stretch this for 20 seconds, the effect would take 20 seconds for the background to slide across the image and for the logo to come up and fade back. I think that two seconds is about good for the movement in this transition, and that should still give you the time you need in OBS to transition between your scenes. But just for this, I'm also gonna pull down the size of that Twitter logo a bit. Maybe I'll actually set this to a, to a off red or pink in the background, just for fun. And as you can imagine, even with these basic customizable options, you could mess around with this for a while, choosing a color that you really like or choosing how big you really want your image to be during that transition. But I have this transition that I created and I like, and now we have to talk about exporting. When you're exporting something to use on stream, the important thing is transparency. In an editing software like Resolve, this is done by exporting what's called an alpha layer. When we talk about digital video, we often talk about RGB, the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. Those get you 
your basic image, but you can also have an alpha channel and that dictates transparency. So if we export this video with an alpha channel, then what is black right now will actually be transparent and we can use that on stream. So you see your first scene, it is completely covered by the effect. And when it transitions off, you'll see your second scene. But before we jump to the Dilbert page, there's one thing we need to do. And that is to right click on our final effect and go to new compound clip and just create that. This is to get around a little conflict Resolve has with exporting a still image with an alpha layer. It's a little confusing, but right now all you need to know is you need to make this a compound clip for your export to work. Then you can jump over to the deliver page. And here on the deliver page, you need to choose a place to export, give it a custom name, and then you need to make sure your render is not on single clip, but is on individual clips. This will unlock exporting with the alpha layer. And we're gonna set this codec to GoPro Cineform and the type to RGB 16 bit. Then underneath our resolution here, we can click export alpha. I'll leave that as pre-multiplied and under advanced settings, I'm gonna set this data level to full. Then we can add that to the render queue. That'll add over on this right side of the screen and we can click render all. And I'm gonna take this file right into OBS. If you choose to export with another format, if you're on Mac and you can export with ProRes, then you might wanna run it through a WebM converter. But this GoPro Cineform is relatively lightweight, so I feel okay using this right in OBS. So in my OBS over here on scene transitions, I'm gonna click on this box and scroll down to add stinger. I can name this like new stinger. Then I'm going to browse and select that video file we just exported. And then we can preview that transition and you'll see the transition is working correctly. So all we need to do is change this transition point so that the transition happens while the screen is completely covered. So this can be a little bit of trial and error, but I know my clip is a little over a second. So if I jump to a thousand milliseconds, I know that's pretty close. It's changing right in the corner. So I'll change that to maybe 1100 milliseconds preview. And that looks to be really great. Great, so now we can click okay. So now if you wanna transition from your just chatting scene to your gameplay, click that. It'll use your brand new fully branded transition and you'll be right into your gameplay. And it's that easy. You can go from just your logo to a fully custom OBS stinger transition in a few minutes. As I said, this free effect will be available for download in the description. So check that link, follow along with the readme that will be in that download and that'll get you installed and ready to go. As always, I love creating these free effects for all of you, but I also love seeing them in action. So if you end up using this on any of your streams or any of your content, please let me know, drop a link in the comments and I would love to check it out. Thanks, I'll see you next time.